Eight years ago, I planted these Saracenias. They look like, almost like flavas, but they're some sort of hybrid because flavas generally have yellow flowers versus the nice um, petals that are nice, dark, deep red. But some of them will be a lighter color, so you can see it's a hybrid of some sort. And I planted these around eight years ago for a friend. And then three years ago, he brought the tub over and gave it to me and the tub was falling apart. It was dry rotted. So I had put them in a bigger tub. They're grown in just pure sphagnum peat moss. You can buy them in like a three cubic foot bag from Lowe's. And you can see how the rhizomes have spread. And over the past couple years or so, I have broken apart some of the rhizomes and potted them and distributed them, you know, gave some away, sold some. And, you know, I'd usually like, I don't like to break the leaves that still have greenery, but I will trim the dead portions sometimes. The ones that are completely dead, I will try to pry out. This one is not fully dead, but this one is. So, you know, let me switch hands over here. Okay, so as you can see, I'll just jerk and then I can chuck it away. Now, one thing is, if you look over here, I have, you can buy these little like wooden skewers from the Dollar Tree for a dollar a packet and I have these as little points coming up and one reason I have these is because squirrels, especially in the dead of summer when it's dry and they're looking for some moisture, they'll see the peat moss retaining moisture and they'll start digging into it and you know the worst thing you want to do is have a squirrel uproot your beloved carnivorous plants you know especially if there are small species like a venus flytrap or sundew or butterwort they'll basically destroy them for you you can see a little bit of moss here and i was thinking maybe i do need to put a carpet of live sphagnum moss on top so that's something i'm thinking i need to do over here is another bin you know i had it filled with peat moss and didn't do anything for a while and started basically taking peat moss out to use you know for potting stuff but here I've had for several years now these some other variety of hybrid and last year they produced one flower and the squirrels destroyed it so this year I have two lovely flowers and you can see how this variety the top as well as the petals are red whereas this one here you have green and red so it's Cool having different varieties and then here you can see where I have like I believe that's a rubra and that's a, um, a Saracenia minor and now right down here is one Saracenia that this, you know I came looking at it and it was uprooted you can see little dips here where the squirrel was starting to dig and then it uprooted that so I just stuck it in there to stay alive until I can find a better home for it and then here is a Saracenia leucophila and you can see how this one is kind of interesting because the leaf is deformed and or the pitcher and you can see how one side has red veins the other side has just like green with the white windows so it's kind of interesting and you can see the deformation on the leaf structure so anyway this is about as big as you can, you know, get the Saracenias just growing without dividing and letting them freely spread a lot better in about an eight years time. So, you know, if I uproot this and break them into smaller pieces and spread them out, then they can divide versus being cramped upon each other and I can probably end up with more rhizomes. Like if you look here in the inside, there's a big gap, you know, so sometimes just keeping them in a big clump, you're going to have areas where they, you just have the rhizomes that are old and everything, so they won't really give you much growth. So if you do divide these and move them around, you will get better growth, I believe. So anyway, basically this tub, you know, being as deep as it is, allows to retain a lot of moisture for the summer. It can stand some dryness, you know, you don't want it overlogged because you don't want the roots sitting in water all the time. And up here in zone 7, I can basically keep them outdoors year long. Certain Saracenias, like the Saracenia purpurea, is found as far north as Canada, so these are good outdoor, cold-hardy carnivorous plants. 
you know, since you don't want these waterlogged, you can always put a drainage hole. I wanted this to retain more water, water, I can't even speak, can I? More water, like in the past I would put a hole lower, but since I wanted to retain more water, higher, and it just depends. These can handle a lower hole, but certain varieties of carnivorous plants, like sundews and um, especially butterworts, they want a lot more water, so you could put the drainage hole higher. I drilled the drainage holes, now it's underneath the moss, so at least it drains, but with a tub this big in this climate, getting filled to the top and water logging them has not been an issue. So this is actually like just a little over a foot is a really good depth to grow these in without needing much drainage. Now this one does sometimes fill up more because it is lower, but this is almost like a holding tank, but you can see where I've had these in for a while and everything. So it basically, you know, it's more of a holding tank, but I did put some drainage holes on the sides and I drilled it, it was too small, then I drilled it wider. So basically it will only hold water up to here so that it doesn't retain water and drown out the rhizome and eventually killing them. And here is basically the front of these pitchers. Let me get it in focus. And right there. So anyway, Saracenias are basically the easiest type of uh, pitcher plant to grow, you know, because you can grow them outdoors versus needing special growing conditions like Nepenthes or Heliamphoras. Cephalotus are also fairly easy to grow outdoors. You know, I have one teeny tiny seedling somewhere else in the yard that hopefully will eventually develop mature pitchers. And um, I never did try planting cobra lilies yet, but I would like to sometime soon. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.